Okay, so this was the bit where um, I drew the gun and designed it. Uh, this is where I put it into Blender, which is really cool and uh, a useful modeling software. Uh, then I had to fucking um, split them so they could be printed, uh, which was fun. And then I printed them with a uh, Prusa slicer thing, and it's fun. 3D printing is fun, except for when it isn't. <laughs> Um, yeah, there's some, most of the time the bits came out pretty good. Uh, uh, th here's a thing of, th uh, of me printing it out of ABS. Uh, all, all of it's ABS. Um, and it makes funny sounds, which is pretty cool. And then, um, yeah. Uh, uh, here is me showing the mag release not work because I designed it very poorly. Uh, and also in a second, there's a hole where the selector switch would go but it didn't work because it didn't mesh with the select plate um which was very sad and it was also just really flimsy like uh, where my thumbs over now it was that that big square hole um yeah this was just the magazine release not like working right which was very frustrating but is what it is and yeah the flex you can see there and on that bit especially was really bad um yeah that was the cable that just slapped me in the face um yes very bad uh, yeah, and this is the selector plate, which just d didn't work at all, which was quite sad, but, you know, uh, I made, oh no, I didn't, nah, I just made it per uh, permanently semi-auto, because that was easy, uh, but I'm gonna change that in the next design, I think, uh, yes. Okay, n uh, now was when the gun, it actually lo like started looking like a gun a bit, because um, I put the uh, grip in, which is very cool. Um, and also, yeah, that's the better mag release switch, which is very cool because it's like a lever. Um, and it actually worked, which is nice. Um, it The print failed weirdly, though. Like, it, I, I think it was, I don't know, it just went weird. Um, but yes, here is a better view of the mag release actually working which is fun um and now now is where it's like gun you know it's mad and uh here's oh this is a fun thing um I, you can weld plastic with a soldering iron i found out and i did it and it stank a bit but uh yeah hence the the gas mask but um it's all good, except for the, those bits I was putting on are entirely pointless, because you'll see in a second. As I ended up just taking the entire thing apart anyway and resanding it, which was a very long process, but it came out better. Uh, this is a thing that happened far too much, where the parts warped on the printer. Um, so I had to redesign quite a few to go in, like, to interlock and stuff. Um, just because it needed to, and that cheek rest slides back to reveal the hop up of the barrel, which was put in. And um, inside that, there's also a trigger bar, which you can just see there, moving back, um, where it's it's just a bit of bent steel rod, um, which I had to sand down a bit to fit. Um, and that bolt on the back is the motor adjustment, which was very important to get it to actually mesh correctly uh, yes here is the wires which i was actually very pleased with just by the way just how they went through the uh body of the gun um, and then came out the front uh yes this is me welding on another bit uh that's that's just a like a little barrel lug thing um and then this bit was a pain because the print warped and I had to sand it out, which was fun. But it's also really cool because it's a grenade launcher. And it just, like, hangs around at the front of the gun. And is like, buttons. And it also is sprung open, um, which I think you can see in here. Um, yeah, you pull it back, open it. Which is me struggling. Uh, take the nade out. Fill up with gas or whatever. Put it in, and then you press the button on the back. Um, well, the gun, yeah, uh, which is very cool, um, and yeah, and then I ended up having to put some spring, sprung arms to make it eject properly, uh,
Ah yes, and then uh, I ended up taking it to my airsofting field, which is cool because it looked like a space gun, and uh, lots of people were commenting on it, and it actually works, which is cool. And here it is. It has been a while. It has. Um, I have, I had conf uh, forgot about this until quite recently, um, because this gun is broken. However, not, well, this is broken, but this is the bad bit. This bit is where the gearbox goes, and the gearbox needs to be, like, very perfect for it to work correctly so i'm going to have to redesign it for this gearbox which is uh worse but will actually work correctly with this because it also has the barrel that this uh originally came with it's um from an ak which is because it has a lever thing there um so i'm gonna have to redesign the trigger the magazine release uh, a bit around the top of this and pretty much all of this but this will be smaller because it doesn't need to have as much material around it meaning the entire gun will be shorter which will be pretty cool um, because one uh, thing, bad thing I did have about this was it was very big as you can see there's quite a lot of space uh, which this is where the uh, batteries go by the way uh, I don't think I showed this in fact no, I didn't even show you this entire bit. It's a bit there, but this was actually printed in two bits. And, yeah, uh, I just covered it up and made it look nice. Um, yeah, I am quite pleased with how this has come out. The springs and thing, and that was a pain. Um, but yeah, I quite like how it came out. Although it has taken a very long time for me to actually record anything about it. But here I am. And um, hopefully it's a bit of a, a look to how I built this. Because it, it wasn't actually that difficult. It just took me ages because our printer is confusing. Um, so, you know, if you're, you have a 3D printer and you want to make something like this, um, here's proof that you can. So... You know, obviously it can't, it's not, 3D, oh my god, 3D printed gun, it's just a, I mean it is, but it's not an actual gun, it's just an asshole gun, but, is what it is, but, um, yes, apologies for the, the, the long time, but, uh, thank you for listening.